Hi everyone, thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing to Janet Rangi. Thank you for following. Thank you for leaving reviews. And thank you for, you know what, always supporting me, okay? So today's title is Visiting Visa to Green Card. There's a reason why I'm explaining the importance of this because I meet people for the first time and they tell me, Janet, where do I start? So if you're one of those people meeting me for the first time and you think, where do I start? Visiting visa is a good option, and I'm going to explain why. Remember, a visiting visa is a temporary visa. Your intent has to come and visit and go back as a tourist, okay, as a business person, for a conference, for a church, for medical, temporary visit, okay? When it comes to these visas, your intent is very, very powerful. You understand? So you cannot come here saying, you know, I'm coming to visit. And then I'm coming to get a green card. That is mixing two issues. You cannot say, I'm coming to visit, and then I'll go to school. They will return you at the port of entry. So going forward, when I do a video, I'll be very sensitive to make sure you understand some of those important aspects when you are going to the embassy. And after you leave the embassy, I don't want you to be stuck at the port of entry. Visiting visa means visiting visa. It's a temporary visa. It's a non-immigrant visa. The law says that your intent has to come and go back. And that is what they are looking for apart from other factors. Okay. But having said that, many people have come to the United States using a visiting visa. And when you reach here, of course, you cannot just say, voila, I've arrived. Even just going at the port of entry. Be careful. You cannot come here and work exit and come back and just hope things will just be okay. Sometimes when you register with the government, when you do other things, okay, they can see you there. They can see you registered in those, you know, your documents then. They can return you at the port of entry. And we don't want anyone to fall in trouble because of lack of information, okay? We want to be very, very informed because the embassy has trusted your application. The embassy has trusted your intent. And you need to cross the border safely with the right reason so that when you come in here, of course, you are going to enjoy. Okay? Now, Let's let's go past that. You've gotten the visa. Your intent is to come to visit and tour. Who knows? You might like it. You might not. I've met many people who have come to America several times and they went back home, mainly because they had families, mainly because they had good jobs, mainly they were just visiting visa was not their thing. Okay. Or they did not see a clear pathway. So they were better off where they are. Okay. But let's say now you're one of those people who has come here. You have done the right thing. You have toured, okay? You always use the right words. You have visited, you have toured, you have enjoyed, okay? You, you have engaged in pleasurable activities. You have gone hiking, you have gone to the museums, you have looked at the Great Lakes, you have seen good things, okay? And then now, wow, you're like, you know what? I see good things. The law allows you to change, okay? And let me take a few seconds here. For many years, I have to take this because I know some of you, you'll fall in this trap. And we do not want you to fall in this trap because of lack of information. We have many people, and we are not blaming anyone, who came here on a visiting visa and they were just misled. Okay? They were just misled. Ah, you know, four months is coming real quick. Four months. You know, they give you something called I-94. You know, with Janet, you come with a pen and paper. When you enter, they will give you six months. Forget, you know, like the visa is five years, but that just means five years with multiple entries. You can exit and come, exit and come. But when you come at the port of entry, they will more than likely give you, say, six months. And they will stamp. Sometimes they forget to stamp. Or maybe they are just too busy. Me, I don't know. I've met people, many people with a passport that is not stamped. But we always remind them, you can go online and check your I-94 record, put in your names, put in your country, put in your passport number, voila, it will come and it will show you when you came in and when you're supposed to exit. The name for that is called I-94 record. So from now, if you hear Janet saying I-94 record, it means entry departure record. This is the time they allow you to come in and after six months, you have to exit. Okay, so I-94 record is very, very important. So let's say they gave you six months. And as I said, you've toured, you have enjoyed, you have partied, you've gone to the malls, and then you start seeing good things. Why not? The law allows you to change status. 
As I said, many, many people for many years, they will just sit there. The I-94 is coming to an end. They're just saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, I am seeing all these good things. Maybe I should just go under the table. And when they go under the table, it becomes almost impossible to see you again. We don't want to be all, you know, those people. You understand? The law allows it. And so let me just go through different scenarios where, you know, you can stay within the law and do the right thing. Of course, Janet is not a lawyer, but she's telling you best from experience because I have a passion for this. I want to make a change in the community so we can have a community that is well-educated, a community that is well-informed. Because if our community is strong, we will have strong applications at the embassy. They will start trusting us more. They see us come to America, we go back. But if we come here and we, we rightfully do the right thing, we can also use what the law allows us to do and so that we can progress in a very, very good uh, legal way. Okay, we do not have to hide. We do not have to do things that we do not have to do. Let's just follow what the law says. Okay, of course, of course, you can change. Now, let me start from the beginning. You came on a visiting visa. The first option you have, okay, maybe you have a strong family. Maybe you have a wife, you have a husband, you have children. Of course, you have the option to go back and come back again, okay? But follow the, if, don't just stay and then your function is over and then you, you decide one day, voila, okay? And if you come back, please make sure the reasons match what you told them at the embassy. So if you are coming to visit your aunt, can you just keep the story straight? Like you're coming to visit the aunt. Why are you changing that you are going to school? Why are you changing that your intent is to get a green card and work? Oh, I had it. Now you can go to America and then you can start working on a visiting. By the way, that tweet was taken down. Me, I don't know if they were hacked or not. How many of you? I was sent so many pictures and I went and I saw with my own eyes. I even went to the website. But just keep in mind that information is not there. I've gone on Twitter, I've gone on the website, and I don't find anywhere where you're allowed to work. Okay, so that information, let us just correct. So you cannot go to the embassy or you go to the port of entry saying, yeah, I'm coming to visit, but I've had it. You can go there, yeah, and then you just work it, you work it, you work it, you make money. They will tell you, <laughs> go back and get a green card. Go back and ask for a working visa. But there's an option to go back. Number two on a visiting visa. As I said, the I-94 record will allow you to stay six months. Okay? Now, and I love your comments. Oh, I love you. YouTube, Facebook, I love you for your comments. If I don't see your name, of course, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Let's say now, you sit here, you're seeing good things. You're meeting these people. They look like they're enjoying life. Okay, they look like they're driving good cars. Oh my, me, I just came to visit, but I can change my mind. Okay, if you are not sure, if you are not sure, think of an extension. Did you write down? Did you write it down? Okay, okay, okay. And some of you are saying, Janet, I would like a visiting. You come to Janet to make an application for you. You understand? I can help you to make that visiting. Janet Rangi, 67 at gmail.com, of course, of course. Of course, Janet Rangi, 67 at gmail.com. Okay, we make it very easy for you. Make it very easy for you. And and oh, you, someone is asking, but what what will that do? And I'll come to, to, to that to that shortly. What does it do? Of course, to help you if you tell us you want to visit, if you want us to assist you to understand the DS160 embassy coaching is the biggest. Okay, we make sure you are very well prepared. And anyway, having said that, remember you have to extend, please. You came and you are not sure. Can you just remember Janet say the extent? And now you just don't show up today. And then you run to extension quickly. <laughs> I'm here. Let me run to extension, surely. And you have six months to visit. Why are you extending a visa when you already have six, uh, six months? You understand? Don't, don't, don't. I mean, wait until you've, you've exhausted your options. You might not need the whole six months. Some of you only need three weeks. Some of you need maybe five months. Me, I don't know. But if you need more, please do the right thing. Okay, do the right thing, and then you can extend. So point number two. Number one, I said you can take the plane and go back, okay, so that you can always stay legal. Number two, you need time. You have not made up your mind, okay? You do extension. And by extension, they, 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 they might delay, but it doesn't mean that they'll give you five years. They'll give you six extra months from experience, okay? Six months. So you count from the date the I-94 expires, that is, they will, add, they will just add. Sometimes they can delay and they tell you they gave you six months and you only have two weeks left. Why? Because they are counting from the time the I-94 expires. So they gave you six more months. 
okay? But just remember, extension is a protocol. Never, never, if you're in doubt, always find a lawyer. If you're in doubt, you can always book consultation. You understand? Because some of these things you guys, you do, 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 you just need to make one mistake and then it won't be right, okay? Anyway, having said that, extension is option number two, okay? How about now you came across, you came to visit in a church, okay? And you, you, you go around and you see very beautiful universities and you've always wanted to be a pilot. You understand? You've always wanted to be a pilot. And in fact, at home, probably you did not have enough money to take you through, a, which is another reason for a visiting visa. Okay? You did not have enough money, but now, you know, you, 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 you've you seen people, social ties, we call them social ties. You've met your uncle, your aunt. They are saying, you know what? If you change to student visa, we might help you. Okay, so consider changing to student visa if your dream was to become a pilot, okay? Then you can do that, okay? We have some people who change status. Then they become nurses. And then they become very, very good members of society. Guess what? Guess what if they become nurses? Voila! Green card, the title today was how to get a visiting visa to green card. And I'm just trying to deliver what I promised, okay? So that is how it happens. You change, and then now you can't just come in. You jump the, you jump from the plane, and then it's a change of status. Surely, what was your intent? Was your intent to come to go to school, or was your intent was to visit? I guess your event was to visit. So how about you go to work, do what you are told to do, okay? And then meanwhile, of course, the, in the process of sightseeing, looking, uh, you know, prospecting, and 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 uh, having network with your friends, of course, of course, you can see good schools. Now choose your course wisely. Because the title today is Visit Visa to Green Card. I love my people. And I've done some of you, you know, you've come to me and we are doing, yeah, hey, Janet, I have business administration. I have project management. And then I make fun of you. I say, oh, it's a pro project management is a very cool course. I mean, I want to do it so I can do very good projects. But I'm not seeing a green card. Okay, I'm not seeing the green card. So there has to be some form of wisdom. I ran here, go read about lab technologies if they still get green cards. Go read about physical therapists and what it takes. Okay, a medical profession is big, big, big on that. Of course, there are other bigger ones that I don't like mentioning on this process, but just make sure another option is a STEM course. What is STEM? Science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And some of you, when you hear STEM, you're like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't be STEM. And then I tell you that analytics, that analytics is also STEM. Okay, which reminds me, I think Jackton needs to come and talk about it, that analytics very soon. So stay tuned for some of you who want to do data analytics. Okay, uh, things like, um, no, but you have to have a degree and master's in these things. Okay, uh, we have a business financial analysis that is STEM. So don't just say hey, 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 science, technology, it must just be engineering, it must be the scientists. Forestry, agriculture. Okay, so there's a whole list that means STEM. And why am I saying STEM? STEM, after graduation, they will give you three years, three years to work anywhere in the United States through a process we call OPT, Optional Practical Training. Okay, so remember, you came on a visiting visa, you were waiting, you're one of those people who makes the green card plan D. Because Janet says the lottery should be plan D. But my people like making plan. Hey, Janet, I hope I win. And then I say, just say good luck. But me, I'm just saying, how about you make the green card lottery plan D? Then visiting probably is plan A. But you can see clearly from visiting visa, you came here, you toured, you changed to student. When you change to student, you chose the course very wisely. Now you change to STEM. Now you are graduating with STEM. After STEM, they are giving you three years. America loves international students who are very smart. They will build the nation. They need you in these courses. Now you have a master's, okay? You can now ask these people to petition for your green card if you choose your course wisely. So it's not just nursing. There are many STEM courses that you can look at, okay, and go to a good school. And by the way, if you want to know which are the good schools, try and choose those ones that give them power. Okay, those ones probably you will, you will need a lot of GRE preparation, credential evaluation, languages, so you can get admission. Clearly, you can see the pathway to green card. Okay, but this pathway is time consuming. 
there's school fees, but then you have to get admission, okay, and then pay school fees. Now, some of you are young. I cannot say marriage is universal. That is not anything in my plans. But of course, if you fall in love and you are in a visiting visa, hey, it has to be legitimate. It has to be legitimate, okay? You can always change to green card. From visiting visa, you are just status. I think it's 485, change of status. From visiting to green card. Why? Because it's a family-based visa, based on marriage. Okay? Now, lately, lately, some of you, I said green card, uh, what do we call it? Uh, EB3, you ran away, you are, oh, <laughs> the money, the money. Okay, let me just compare. If you're here, let's say, on a student visa, and then now you're thinking, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I changed from visiting to, to student. Now I need to do nursing. Nursing will take you four years. By the time you pass those exams, okay, I have, you know, struggle, burn the midnight candle, read, 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 pass and clicks. By the time you they file for you a green card, it's four years, five years down the road. Probably 60 to 100,000 US dollars in payments or student debt. Which is good. That is, that is what it takes for you to have a career. The good news is not just about the green card. It's about having a career. Okay, how about EB3 for unskilled workers? That one, we have recruiters who have given us the list. And I keep on coming here every day. Some people are on busy. They came. We started the process. The lawyer has told us who applies and who cannot apply. Okay, that one, no, the education, just the experience is necessary. Why is this one good? Okay, two years. It takes about two to three years, but it's not expensive compared to nursing. It's not expensive compared to uh, this, uh, what do we call them? Um, uh, it's not expensive compared to even marriage. Marriage is not easy. You have to work as a family, pay for all those fees, pay for rent, pay for, for everything. By the time you go to the green card, it's costing you a lot of money as a family. Okay, so I mean, did I forget any other way? By the way, this, these visas are very interchangeable. I just want you to understand. And let me just go back from the beginning when you are making a choice. Okay, I see people saying, but Janet, I don't have enough school fees. See, and I'm not saying some of you went to the embassy on a visiting visa now. I mean, on a student visa now, you keep on running back. But I watched Janet's video and Janet told me, let me just go and do visiting visa. You have to know. You have to know because you cannot be confusing the embassy. Today you are a student. Tomorrow you are a visitor. Tomorrow you are going to a church conference. Tomorrow you are going to, to, to uh, something else. How to, to braid your hair. Okay, saloonist. You have to choose these things. I've met people who come here for saloonists and they are wondering, surely, I think maybe that course can be, you can learn from home, don't you think? Don't you, do you have to take a plan to come and learn these other courses? I don't think so. So you have to be wise. You have to be wise. And if you are not sure, you can come and ask us. These days, people are very happy. They just come to JanetRangi.com and they book a consultation. And it's working. In fact, I had a lady who came the fact, two years ago. She said, Janet, Janet, no, maybe one and a half years ago. Okay? She was almost messing up. Okay? I, I We looked. I said, you know, if I'm seeing this, the embassy should be able to see. You better, you know, have a good explanation. Why you want to do it? She was successful. She was successful. Guess what? Because she was successful, now she brought again the husband and the three children. Is it two or three? Just the other day, the husband is very sharp. The wife is like, I don't know. I don't know. Janet is so prepared. I'm like, your husband looks sharp. He's in the plane, probably coming. Okay, okay. He go to the children. You understand? So some of these things, you cannot welcome for those who are meeting janet for the first time for those who've watched me for a long time i always say you cannot watch one video in isolation you know you cannot just watch one video and you jump try and weave these things together and i know some of you are so busy the bundles are expensive okay but if you are one of the i meet people who are very busy they're like janet i don't have time to watch your videos which is a little bit i feel bad i'm like oh. Surely. I work so hard to do videos and you tell me you can't watch my videos. But I understand. No, 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 Janet, I just want to pay consultation so you can summarize. I have no time for your videos. I'm like, please be nice. Please be nice. And it's like, but I'm being nice here. I'm like, okay, at least you're being nice. You're booking consultation, I guess. Okay, but sometimes you might just need a summary of these things. We can evaluate you because sometimes I see you watch one video and you know Janet is making sense. 
I did not have school fees. You know, last time oh, I went for my PhD and they denied me a visa. I think I've just had the Janet talking about visiting visa. How about I run, 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 run? And you don't know your history with the embassy. Okay, so look at these things in totality. When I present a visiting visa video, it doesn't mean I'll not come and present a student visa video. It doesn't mean I'll not come and present a green card. It doesn't mean I'll come and present H1B. It doesn't mean I'll come and present a J1, which I'll be expanding even more visas. The more I do this, the more I realize there are many visas which you guys don't know. Okay, okay, okay. And I'll keep on making these videos for you. Okay? So, but in a nutshell, the reason why I like the uh, visiting visa is quicker. Of course, the embassy appointments have to be tight. I don't know why they are tight. Me, I don't know if agents go and book those appointments. The embassy tries to deal with the backlog. Again, it's full. The embassy tries to deal with the backlog. They are doing very well. You find it's full. So I don't know. I don't know. But that can determine how long you get into America through a visiting visa. It's those embassy appointments. But having said that, the amount is not that bad. It's not like you are going to prove that you have 30000 or 50000 US dollars to pay for tuition. Mm -hmm. Okay, what it takes to visit in America is Uber, a hotel, and air ticket. And most of the time, of course, I'm sure they understand you have family. Okay, of course, if you come and visit me, surely, I'll have a bed for you, I'll have food for you. So are you going to be proving 90000 I think the main focus should be, what are you doing back home? Do you look strong where you are? That is what they are looking for, in my opinion. Okay, are you having a strong job? Is it paying well? Have you been working for a long time? Do you have gaps? You know, you worked 10 years ago and then now you've just been somewhere and then you wipe off the cobwebs and then you run to the embassy. That is questionable. If it's a business, can you prove that it's a good, solid business? How many employees do you have? Can you even show the payments? If they ask you, you know, you look like actually you are a good entrepreneur and you're doing very well. Okay, you, you have uh, children, the children are doing very well. You have been traveling to Europe, you've traveled to Asia, you have traveled, you know, somewhere in the Sunshine Continent. Okay, so you are, you are well traveled. All these things will come together. Okay, but the thing I'm saying is it's not going to stress you with ways, you know, credential evaluation. It's not going to stress you with languages. It's not going to stress you with a bank statement. It's not going to stress you with expensive ventures. And look, when you reach here, voila, voila. And the next video, I'll come and talk to you, some of you who are coming on your student visas. Why am I inspired to do this video on visiting? Because history has shown that our sunshine people, they come here and they stick around, okay? And without information and you stick around, it is not very good. And I can't blame because we didn't know. How was I supposed to know? Now we have technology. Now we have, you know, websites we can go and check. What are our options? Okay. Now, in a nutshell, before I go, let me just tell you in advance what will happen to you if you cross over. Okay. As I said, most of us did not have the information. So you can't blame us. But if you meet us, number one, are we happy for you? Okay. So are we going to, are we more likely to give you good advice? Number two, probably we're going to laugh at your visiting visa. <laughs> oh, we, visiting visa. What are you going to use that for? You can't even get us for show. You can't even drive. Oh my God. Now the accent has changed. Oh my God. Why didn't you even get a, 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 a student visa for heaven's sake? You know, I mean, you can't do nothing. You know, you need... You, <laughs> you're gonna meet that okay okay and you know sometimes we, we look very good we are driving very good cars so when we give you information you are more likely to trust and janet is here to say no no i've been on the scene i've watched facebook i've watched this youtube and you're being misled just because people fail does not mean you have to fail how about you go Janet Rangi way? Let me do research. Let me find out for myself. And some of you, you've been rescued because you've watched Janet for a long time. So when you come and watch the winds, when the winds tell you, Sha! you're like, no, Janet, Janet. And now you have approval and you have even surprised those people. 
They've come and seen you with change of status. They are seeing you in nursing school. And then they say, oh, miracle. Hey, how did that happen? Me? me, I thought you can only come and marry. You can get masakara. You can get some tafuta muto, tafuta muto, tafuta muto. That is the only thing you know. And then some of you, you panic. Huh? You panic. Hi, Janet, but this process is long. I would rather just take a shortcut. So be careful with the people who've been in America for five, ten years. They do not have the information Janet Rangi is telling you. Trust me. If they did, they will not be out of Masakara. Your family, that brother of yours, that uncle of yours, that cousin of yours, that friend of yours, they do not know. They will mislead you and they are not doing it in a bad way. That is all they know. Okay, we have to change. We have to change. Okay, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. It's not a lecture. When did you see me last a lecture? I am not a lecturer, but I'm just saying information is power. Okay? Okay, BC, it's okay. If you fear persecution, it is okay. It's a safety net. Okay? So long as you make sure you file your six months. You know how I'm doing EB3, by the way? The lawyer said, you know, Janet, if people came here or, and they file for asylum, it has to be within the first six months. They have to follow the law. So if you decide to go that route as a safety net, more power to you. Okay, 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 okay. Just make sure you do it on time so that if other options ever come up, you have those options. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now, I just mentioned those two for a reason because I see some people doing that or just disappearing. Okay? You cannot just disappear or you cannot just be misled. You cannot just be misled, but, 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 but no. Hey, can I even give you good news? I have a client who came. She, hey, hey, Janet, last minute. He changed. And then after he changed, he put in EB2. I-140 has been approved. The green card is on the way. That person, if they never watch Janet, that person, if they never watch Janet, do you understand the repercussions? I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. The whole point I'm saying, you're going to trust us because we've been here long. When we drive good cars, we appear to be doing well instead of doing research, instead of taking the hard drive. And plus, sometimes when I tell people change status, it takes money. It takes time. Okay? You are panicking. And then you think, hey, Janet. And then you go to nursing school. But five years down the road or four years down the road, not only do you have a green card, you have a career. You can marry whoever you want. Your children are running around very nicely. They are going to church. There is no stress. But you will go to these forums. They will tell you, this Janet Rangi, she's just easy to say. If people, it was easy, we wouldn't be here. Massacre is hard. You cannot, you cannot what? You can, we did not have information. Let us just accept we did not have information. But the good news, the ones that are coming, okay, the ones that are coming, they are very, very informed. And if there's anything you can do, is do your own research. I have to spend time here. I have to spend time on this uh, point here. Because I know what it means. You will come, you will panic. What if they deny you? <laughs> that is a common one. What would they deny you? Anyway, why are you going to her? She's asking a lot of money for you. Money? Money? This, this, this change for, for your future, for your future, which is endless, your clan and everything. Okay? So if you hear them saying, they might not, it might be difficult. The worst these people can tell you is a no. And if you filed everything on time, you are not out of status. That is point number one, okay? If you filed everything on time, you are never out of status, and the worst they can say is no. But if they say, what if they deny you? That is what we call negative energy. Negative, negative energy, okay? So number one, they might mislead you. Number two, they might um, tell you negative energy. And number three, they might just not know. And number four, it's not easy. It's not easy. And even me, I'm one of those people who are saying it's not easy. It's not easy to see Janet Ranky successful sometimes. Some of you, your family is coming and telling me what you're telling them. Janet is changing people's lives. It's not about money. 
I think even one person came yesterday and I blocked him. I said, my friend, just because you give me money, you cannot be, I cannot be your slave. So keep your money. It's not about money sometimes. Of course, I have to be rewarded. Who wants to wake up in the morning? You're busy talking to people. You sleep, you're busy talking to people. How foolish is that? Okay? But the, your people are coming to tell me that you're telling them, okay, to avoid Janet Rangi because she's expensive and those things don't work. Surely, surely. So now someone has to question, is it because you, you fear success? It is true. That could be an option where you fear success. And these are very few. These are very few. Can I just mention these are very few? Majority of my people, they do the right things. Janet, my sister, Janet, my uncle. And they are seeing success. But if you are one of those people is going to mislead, another thing you have to pay in mind, okay? And this one goes to us who are already here. Most of these people who are here have watched Janet from scratch. Even if it's bloodline, my friend, the trust is bigger than you. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Tread softly. Tread softly. Okay? Most of them, the reason they are here in America is because they watch Janet. So how are you going to convince them against? Just be honest. If you don't know, you say, you know what? Tread softly. Try and do research. Because some of that information you might be thinking is someone else. When it's true, you're affecting people's future. Okay, so be very careful. But the, the one I have to stress the most is because we don't know. There are many people today, if I stop them and say, did you know that someone can come on a visiting visa and change to student? They'll be shocked. Are you serious? And you will get a social janeti? And you will drive you? Yes. And you will do nothing in janeti? Yes. Because you, you're busy on a, somewhere else where they're saying you can't. Visiting visa, you can't do nothing. That is not true. That is not true. There are options. There are options. And by the way, the more we do the right thing, the more now the embassy will be giving more visas. Why? Because they trust us. Our numbers will start looking good. Oh, these days, these people know. They are now, you know, they are obeying the law. They are coming. They are going back. Or if they come, they are doing the right thing. And then before you know it, they are becoming very resourceful. They are becoming very uh, good members of society. They are becoming engineers. They are becoming doctors. They are, they are going and becoming nurses. Okay? Just from, again, remember the worst they can do is to say no. Okay, now when it comes to America, these things of self petitioning can be dangerous. Okay, you cannot just go there, they ask questions about your job, you are there saying things you don't know. Okay, you are there, I don't know, giving uh, ideas about socials and bank statements. Always find a lawyer or always find people who understand these things. Okay, and, and everything will be okay. All right, so that is my experience. That is my experience. It's not easy, but the people that tread, I can tell you when they come and they've been approved, they're always happy, 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 happy. Why? Because they were just visiting. People are telling them you can't get a social. You can't get this. Of course, I think Washington State and New York, you can. Some of these states you can, but most places you can't get nothing. And then all of a sudden they just see approved, approved, approved. It changes life down, life down the road. So clearly, can you see what Janet means when I say from visiting visa to green card? That is what exactly what I mean. Okay. So instead of you sitting there and just thinking of a lottery, hey, it is coming next year in May, and then I will apply. And then when it comes back in somewhere, I don't know. No, you apply in November, it will come out in May. Make that plan A, of course, if you want. But me, I'll make it plan B and C. Okay, some of these are the most practical, practical ways. There's a reason why it's called a tourist visa is to come and tour. If you don't like, you go back. If you like the other options, you can look at. Okay, I love your comments. Otherwise, it rained very heavily where I am here. I was driving and I got scared at some point. My car was just ding, 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 ding. I'm like, oh, Lord. So I had to park somewhere, let the rain drain. Never, never drive through the rain if you are not sure. Okay, if you see water coming above your car, back up. Turn around, never go through that water. And that is what happened to me today. So I had to back up, go at the side of the road and wait until the water has drained. However, I was like, you know what? Let the rain take one hour. I don't care. I better be in a safe parking lot where there is no water, everything. Okay, once the water has drained, and I'm talking to some of us who are coming to America also, you know these things, you, you find yourself going under the bridge. Don't do such things. When it comes to water, you see water. If it's if you can't see the the guys, go back, go back, go back. Miss work, miss work. Do whatever it takes. Okay, don't go through that water. 
okay? And so now I came, I was rained on, I was very wet, so I'm going to shower, okay? I love you so much, okay? I see you in the visiting visa. For those who need help, I'll come and talk to Canada. I'll bring Bruce, okay? But this is American visa. If you need us to guide you to do anything, of course, it's consultation. And if not, the whole process, of course, Janet Rangi, 67 at gmail.com, you can write to us. Alternatively, you can go to janetrangi.com. To me, the most important aspect is to evaluate who you are, to evaluate what you're doing, okay? And to see the embassy, to see your strengths, especially even communication skills, okay? And to see what you have done in the past because those things are very important and also to hold your hand because some of you, when you leave the embassy, you almost faint if you don't have someone to hold your hand. Okay, so these are not easy things. Okay, we see people going back and getting the second and third trial. But, you know, I always pray for everyone to get the first trial. And with each session, you improve. What I've seen when people go and they come out, they feel more confident to go back. But the first trial is usually the, the, the worst because everyone is expecting perfection and I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. But that's not always the case. Okay, so remember, let, before I go, let me finish with this law. Okay, and I did the previous video. The law assumes that anyone coming to the United States on a temporary visa, such as the visiting visa, they have the intent of coming and never going back. Therefore, it's up to you, the applicant, to give convincing reasons why you'll come back. And those convincing reasons could be a good job, could be education, could be children, could be just previous travel and all that. Avoid thinking that you are going for interrogation. Avoid thinking that you are going for questions. It's your responsibility. I've seen people go out there with a scholarship and the embassy did not even have time to get a scholarship. You should have been smart, but they didn't ask me because your first answer was not even worth for them to continue to the second and third. But if you have the first question, it's well arranged and you, you push it immediately. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my, I plan to go to study. And by the way, you know, have a scholarship and you're sliding. Okay, make it a conversation so you don't come up, but they didn't even ask me for this invitation letter. They did not ask me. Because you thought they would say, your name? Yes. Your passport? Yes. Why are you going? College A. Anywhere? We hear college B. And which city? And as if that is how it will go. No, no, no. Okay, it's just good morning. How are you? How may I help you today? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. From that is enough. That is enough for someone to see if you're here or here. Okay, so make sure you get a chance for them to grill you and ask for more information. So remember, it's not an interrogation. It's you convincing them, talking at the same level, being proud of your country, not arrogant, proud of where you come from, but you've seen a good opportunity where you are going that you need help. Okay, be nice, be polite. You cannot be... <laughs> no, 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 you're not going to heaven. Okay, okay. So just respect who you are, love your country. Okay, and say, you know, yeah, I love what I'm doing here, but you know, I've seen good things here. I'll be more than happy, you understand? So that should be the attitude. That should be the attitude, and I'm sure they will appreciate. Good luck with your decisions on visiting visa. Now you understand from beginning to end when I say that sometimes green cards come in many ways. Remember your intent has to come and visit and go back. When you go to the port of entry, you cannot say I'm going to work. You cannot say I'm going. You are coming to visit. You are coming to tour. You are coming to sightsee. And above all, wherever you told the embassy is what you'll get at the port of entry. That story cannot change. Once you're in the embassy, that is America. Okay? Good luck. And I will see you in the next video. Today, sorry, I'll not have a chance to go to the video. I hope I'll come and read the comments. I see your good words. If not, I'll come and type the comments, but I'll not be reading them, okay? Because I have to go to work, and I don't want this video to be too long, okay? And thank you so much for showing up. Remember to subscribe. Remember to follow. Remember to leave review comments. And if you have any questions, remember to go to the email. Sometimes I can't come to the inbox. I can't come to the comment section, but we call at least all of us as a team. We go to the emails and then we answer you. Janet Rangi, 67 at gmail.com. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Asante ni sana. Muchas gracias. Asante ni zikomo. I will see you in the next video. Okay. How about I'll see you. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you. I love you. I love you. See you in the next video.